I was or... uh, um, unlocking the door to come inside or whatever, and I heard something rustling behind the house, and I was like, ooh, Just I don't know what that was. Turn on the floodlights. It's probably a skinwalker. Yeah, I've been saying it a lot lately. Stop that. It mm-hmm. could be. For fuck's sake. Well, the worst no. part is, is I... um. I turn on the back light out to like, the back of the house and I was peeking out and I'm like, I really shouldn't because of what if. I don't well, want my face to here's be the right thing. there and I like, fucking ran off. I posted on TikTok and I had the question and nobody fucking answered because I don't get any engagement that I want to get on any I social didn't media. See it. I don't know. Um, no, it's not for you, but it, it was like, I have a question for. Uh, I just looked to make sure my window was closed. I have a question for Skinwalker TikTok. And <laughs> yeah, the, stop. The question is actually, uh, Luna did reply. And she said, You can't just say the S word. I'm like, Fucking watch me. Um, I said, if if you're Jake, don't fuck with it. If you're watching, if you're watching a TV show or a movie or listening to something at night with the windows open and there's whistling happening in it, yeah, what happens? Like, does that does it know? Is it like your pet when they when they hear an animal on TV, they just kind of like understand that, that that doesn't exist near them, or like, does the skin does the skin thing does the skin person just go like, oh fuck that shit, that that sounds digital, like. That's what does it do? It's digital. He just I don't know. care. He's standing outside the window and goes, ah, oh, I got bamboozled. They're just watching a movie. <laughs> you got bamboozled. Like, Look at you. Next time. So on that note, welcome to um, Season 2, Episode 8 of the Nihility Podcast. Today with me is uh, Dylan, whichever name the, he's going the one, by. The one and only. And don't you? The only consistent person on this podcast besides Chris. You have. Except, like one time. Uh no, I think you've been on every podcast. One time it was me and you, the dual podcast. Which, by the way, I listened to at work the other day. It was a fucking funny podcast. I thought that was, was a, it? it was hilarious. I was laughing at my own dumbass jokes. Um, we were, I think we were still talking about Godzilla or something. But Dylan always <laughs> uh gives his name like it's me. because I don't like saying my own no, name. It's me. I I said your name. You just have to say hello. Yeah, but I still don't like hello. And then we have Jake. Bill Nye, the racist guy. The little brother. It's the, it's, it's the we all share DNA crew again. And, um, it's because we don't have any other friends. No, it's not that. It's, I didn't even ask anybody else to be on. I just, I'm not even going to bother trying to, like, you know, also, coerce who wouldn't want to hang out with me? Uh, I'm, both my hands are raised. <laughs> and my foot. I was going to ask Sav, but I just don't know what she's up to. And it was kind of last minute, so she's just been busy with her shit. I do want to get her on the podcast, but I know how she has to use Discord on her phone so that I know her audio quality would be. Yeah, so. I mean, if she had headphones that had a mic, it's a little bit more. Little bit well, more she just got she just got one of the touchscreen flip phones, so I doubt that thing has any auxiliary oh, port for a headset. I mean, either way, you can get. I don't think she has Bluetooth things. headphones either. But, uh, hey, listen, if she's able to afford that phone, she can afford a fifty dollars pair of wireless. She had phones. to wait like two months for it to arrive, and she is. sent it to me. I'm like, nice, flip it like a butterfly knife, and she's like, no, <laughs> like I'm not yeah, doing that'll, that. That'll be the way to go. I want to call you so you can aggressively hang up on me like it's 1998. The very aggressive tap on the phone. The the first Motorola flip phone. When did the? My guess is 92. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. Jake, you don't get to talk on this. You didn't have a... You 1994. Have a and yeah, I did. Jake. What the fuck are you 1996. talking about? 1996. I said 92. I, was, I said 94. Yeah. Jake, when so, did you ever have still. a flip phone? It was one of my first phones I've ever had was a flip Yo, phone. My, I still have my first phone. It was... Uh, I'm going to... I'll link it down below. I'm going to gonna get an image for it. Um, please do because I'm. I, I think we had the same phone. No, you might have had a dis- no. I'm pretty sure we did. You might have had a different version. of I, it. I have it. It's like in this room. It's actually. Little, it's only ten bucks. You can have the Kyocera KX414 cell phone. This right here in the reference dump is my first phone. It's on eBay, but this is like yeah. that's my uh, first I can't phone. Actually type in chat. I can't okay, type yeah. In Mine was essentially the same thing, but. Yeah, what, $10, dude. Uh, oh, what, does it even use? Uh, I'm sorry, I was reading the thing. Does it even work anymore? Yeah, uh, I have to I have to recharge it. I really want to get a charger and see, like, the three contacts. And again, for anybody, uh, go ahead and join the Lincoln's Legion Discord, and you can go down to the podcast tab and podcast reference, and you'll be able to see a list of um, all of the stuff that we're linking and talking about in there after the podcast. Uh, this should be an invite in... The description of whatever service you're using to listen. Okay, Jake, you should be able to dump things in it now. Yeah, this is one of my first phones. It's a newer version of it, but... 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's for one. That's that was my favorite. It's a. I'm gonna no, no, buy no, no, that, no, no, no. dude. I love. I had the exact that was same my favorite phone. phone. I love yeah. that thing. I was talking about this to Sean just the other day, and I'm like, I missed the phone that could just slide. Except, yeah. see, mine, the one I had, didn't have the keypad in front. It was just a full screen with like one button on the front to like you know illuminate the display and dim it. I and think I um, know what you're talking about. Yeah, it, no, uh, it actually it had the full screen, but it was a touch screen. It would the full How screen was touch $100? screen, and then you could slide it up for the keyboard. I fucking that's my favorite phone of all time. I think I want yeah. that back. Uh, I think this I is... had Jake. I had that exact phone. Yeah, I want. Dude, and that thing was durable as too. hell. I remember it never being. Broke. Hold on, it was like after school or something. I was with Caleb, I think, and I was just pl I was full on flinging that thing like twenty feet in the air. Like I was. Like fucking yeah, that shit throwing it in break. the air and it would smash on the the floor or like, like the grass and shit. And it after like a shit ton of throws, it finally got a little scuffle on it. Here's the thing: comparing old phones to new phones, I would never in a million years skateboard with my phone in my pocket. Back in the day, I used oh, that yeah. thing as knee pads. So enough for uh, old phones. I really do want to recharge. I could get the charger for it. I just don't want to spend like the eleven dollars for it. Um, I want to see if I have any old text messages that are stored. What my level was on Snake. Um, apparently, <laughs> on Snake. Yeah, I used to play the shit as Snake on that phone. I was so good at it. That's all I could do back then. Like I, that phone didn't have internet. <laughs> I think I downloaded a wall. I well, it had. Internet services, but not a browser. So you could download certain things from the store on the phone, but it wasn't like you yeah. didn't have you didn't have Wi-Fi on it. So I the think only, I downloaded. The like, game I had on mine was like Blackjack. I'm pretty sure. And, I think that's a card game. Yeah. And, well, yeah. There's and now pe and now people are playing like VR on their phones. You me, slot me it into a crush. little headset. Me man. playing Candy Crush last night at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> man, uh, drop dead. Uh, I've been, speaking of VR, I've been enjoying the shit out of just playing some contractors against bots. I Yeah. It, yeah we it's play been, again. We do, because I got the gun stock all situated. You guys, I'm telling you, getting that gun stock, it's a whole new world. You can aim down sights and it actually works. It's really nice. Yeah, also, Dylan. It's what? like, what? Real quick. did We never got our thing to update, did we? No, not when we last tried playing it. No. What do you mean with like the the bonus, like the, the custom like maps? The, yeah. yeah, they're gone. They're gone shit. from mine. I did an update and I don't have that mod menu anymore. I don't know what, what the yeah, fuck. See? It's the VR on the Oculus Quest Two is the most mismanaged piece of shit. They did update the menus and stuff though, but uh, <laughs> well, I wonder if we actually got it this time. Anyway, so what have you guys been up to lately? Podcast talk. I am obsessed with New World. That. Buggy ass game. Do you want to get into that now or save that for later? Um, I'll get into it now because I don't really have a whole lot of topics because my life is very mundane. Um, it is a lot of fun, <laughs> but what sucks is I assume it's mostly because it's Amazon's first MMO. I think they've made like one other game before, but it was like they garbage, did, and it was and a nobody flop. Gave a shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, and nobody fucking gave a shit about it. Um, I don't even know what the game was, but. I think it was like an uh, so action adventure or something. I don't remember. Probably. So it's like it's their next big thing, and it, you know, I'm an MMO, and it's great, but it's pretty buggy. There's a lot of shit that just makes no sense. So they did, um, as an example, they did a patch last night. They fixed whatever they fixed and all that, but now because of that, Jake, listen, because I'm sure you didn't look at the notes. Well, Jake, pay Earths. attention. Don't multitask. Yeah. Stop playing games. No, no, I'm no, saying I'm, that just no, so no, no. he knows because he does play it occasionally. Uh, now with the trading post, which is it's the only way to make money, otherwise, uh, besides like quests and stuff. Um, there's no in-game trader you can just go sell shit to. If you're selling anything, what? you have to yeah you yeah, have which to put is it on bullshit. a flea market. You have to put it on the flea market, and somebody has to buy it, which is fine. But the only problem Fuck with that, that is if you but. But the problem with that is if you end up if your server ends up just dying off, people either transfer if people stop playing it, and you don't really have many people on it. Um, yeah, that kind of hurts the economy. Um, but there's the bug that ended up coming out from last night's update that now if you throw some things on the market and you log off, you go offline, and if somebody buys it, you don't get that money. 
it just Let's... gets taken away. That's the bug. So they're going to be fixing it, obviously. And I think I think I saw something that they they will reimburse you for the gold that you lose or whatever. And I'm sure everybody on there is like, oh, see, this is why New World is the worst fucking game to come into existence. Because yeah. they can't manage it. Shut up, you fucking video game snobs. Yeah. Then there's a... Uh, it's if, if a healer throws down a heal AoE, uh, <laughs> instead of it, I think... Unless, besides, like, healing on pulse, however the things work, if you just keep teabagging inside of it, it you, like, instantly heal. Like, it, it, it just keeps healing you every time you bag. It's something like that. So now that's busted as fuck. Um, it's just, like, they do one thing and a shit ton of other stuff breaks. And, yeah, a lot of people, as you said, snobs. What is this, Apex? Just shit talking it, exactly. And the way I see it is, yeah, it's honestly pretty bullshit, but it's Amazon's you know, first few games, however many, it's their first MMO, and I'm giving them the slack because, you know, I don't know, I also am not that anal about it. Te- coding and all these things are incredibly hard. Does it excuse the the errors they make? No, of course not, but what matters is it seems like they're trying to make the effort to fix it as fast as they can. People just don't understand how hard it is to make a video game and how hard it is to don't fix something. Don't neither do you. Be- Jake, Hey man, I, I'm just like, no, no shit. But that's why I'm defending it because people don't realize how hard it is. Fucking idiot! Like I just commissioned it, it on Fiverr. I don't know what you're talking about. Seems pretty easy right? to me. But to go and show it though, it's like if you're trying to fix a bug, you have to try to tackle it at every single angle you can because it's a bug. Something's wrong, and then you fix that, and then you have to make sure it doesn't break something else, which is what happened. Like, sometimes for the bugs, easy. you don't even know if you need D or if you need something without D, and sometimes it just doesn't kill them. It just makes it go, oh, that doesn't smell good, and then they leave for a minute. Then they come right. back. Yeah, exactly. Then you get the zapper. Know. But it's it's a lot of fun. Um, the quests are some of the most bland quests in an MMO, and that's saying something because a lot of the time they're shitty. The main story isn't bad or anything, but yeah, the the side quests are pretty shit. It's like go here and the kill word. these enemies, and then you come back and you turn it in, and they're like, all right, so now go back there again and grab these. Yet. Yeah, it's just busy work and it sucks. But um, I I Wars saw you guys cool. play it. It just um, looks boring. It just looks so boring. It is. It's just, no, I it's, mean MMOs in general just look fucking boring. You ha- it it is a very specific player base. It's not like, oh, I like FPSs, but I can also enjoy an RPG and I like some platformers. It's not that. Either you like MMOs or you don't. And oh. that's my issue is I like MMOs, but I couldn't find one that I liked until Guild Wars from Jace and now New World. It's well, I think let's it's just say if Destiny wasn't if Destiny wasn't a shooter, I would not have played it. If Destiny was because it it's a shooter looter MMO type game, I feel I feel like it is kind of an MMO. Uh, eh, yeah, I definitely. I don't uh, no no I don't get a eh, no. I think it's just it's just a looter For, shooter. Well, I mean with, with raid some bosses MMO elements, and, yeah, sure. that's what I mean. Yeah, it's but somewhat that's not an MMO. Exclusive. That's not exclusive to MMOs, obviously. My, my, no, I know. Well, I know. I've I've never seen Tetris with a raid boss. Um, <laughs> no, my my I mean, point I don't know. is some of those some of those things are pretty fucking hard. My point oh. is though, that's as close to an MMO as I've gotten that I've enjoyed playing an actual MMO. Fucking doo doo. Mm. I don't like it. But it's I'm not I'm like not here can't... to be contrarian. I'm not here to talk shit about it. I don't care if people like it. Good for you. I just don't get it doesn't make yeah. it boring as shit to me. No, I, I I agree, but I have to find one that I like, which I think why I like New World a lot is it's fun, but a buggy mess. <laughs> but at least it's not Cyberpunk, even though apparently Cyberpunk is a lot better nowadays, but, you know, it's almost been a year, yeah. and but everybody way, who bought the game already played through it and dropped exactly. it. Exactly. With the way that it works now is if the first two months don't go well, nobody's returning. Like, nobody's returning to play Outriders. Nobody fucking cares. Outriders I is dead as shit. I still people playing it. Yeah, but it's it's probably all the same people. The same few people. Yeah. No, no one knew is picking up Outriders. Go, you guys heard of this? Like, yeah, I remember the trauma of that game. I remember being a pyromancer so and getting my shit rocked. Well, see, the thing with New World, uh, wow, uh, Outriders is the game itself wasn't bad, and it's not like it was that buggy that I remember. It's just there was no end game. It was just run the same expeditions and try to get a faster sco- fast score, uh, and get get the loot. Like that's it. There was no raid. There was no you know additional thing. The only thing you got from beating the story was 
expeditions just strikes basically it was just i enjoyed not the a lot game to do. i actually f- look back and i remember it fondly because the game itself was fun to play but the balance was terrible the balance, the balance was terrible was if you weren't so a technomancer or a um, trickster <laughs> like, yeah well not even just that but even with you playing those characters it didn't seem like there was any way for like if you I don't know. Just the, the the lower grunt tier enemies were as strong as like the bosses. It was ridiculous. Are you saying in the open world or in the expeditions? I'm saying the, like playing expeditions. Like the balance for expeditions was. It, it made me want to cry. It was so fucking bad. I I I, sh- I if I'm max level with pretty decent gear, I shouldn't be getting killed by the grunts or the jackals uh, jackal equivalents uh, in Outriders. Like in, using Halo terms, like they should not be mopping my ass up off the floor they shouldn't like, even on the hardest yeah. difficulty i should be able to one-on-one a fucking grunt and not sweat yeah the the enemies and out and outriders that just swarmed you and you couldn't do anything besides roll out of the way i mean what were, what were they called the 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 fucking things that constantly jumped on your head um i made the whole video about them uh, in what in, in um out, uh, outriders Oh, oh! You're talking yeah, about the yeah. big fuckers, like the charger like bitches. I'm gonna okay. No, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna go look up the enemies in the game because yeah. now they just oh, constantly jumped on you, and there was like four of them, and you could you literally yeah. couldn't do anything except for hit B to roll away. You couldn't reload your gun. You couldn't shoot back. You couldn't use an ability. It was roll, 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 roll. I got downed. <laughs> like I, I know what you're talking about. Stupid. Um. Oh my god. Okay, you guys talk about something. I got the alphas. The, the alpha perfer. Fucking one of them. alphas. Yeah, it's the alphas. God, I've yeah, never been. Ones. I punched my floor. I was so. You did. You did. I punched the fucking floor, dude. You did. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna post the video. Suck. Yeah. Um. Rar. The blood morphers were pretty ass. Oh my, not the rar. Yes. Yeah, and then the perforos were kind of meh, but they weren't as bad. So Jake's here, everybody. He just joined the podcast. Uh, Jake, What's... how are you been today? Uh school and then i got home and passed the fuck out well, you want Dude. you want to talk about what it's like going to school again actually dog shit do you want to elaborate <laughs> uh, i mean there's not much to say it's work i go to school do my work and then during like direct to studies and pause i have to sit there for like two and a half hours on every two days just well every other day because i usually finish all my work quickly so I just, as an adult, the one thing I really want to do is just go into a school during, like, you know, in, in between classes where all the kids are in the hallway, put both arms out in a, in a Jesus position, and just clothesline all you ungrateful fucks that think life is so fucking hard. <laughs> I just want to clothesline everybody. Just wait till you have debt. Fuck you. Uh, Hormones? I don't want to hear it. You don't need to have yeah. pubic hair. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck? I don't know. It's just I I just been I was thinking back to like my school days and how much I bitched and complained about how annoying every day was. It's like dude, school is like pshaw. It, it it's still shit. Pshaw. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's shit, but it's like pshaw, dude. Fuck it. I know I'm looking back thinking I wish I didn't take shit so seriously and I wish I I I I regret not standing up for myself more. It's, it's more of the thing. Like I wish I had just told more teachers to fuck themselves and told more st- and broken more students' hands. Like I, I got it. I if I was I, me I now in that. school, if I was me now in school, I would have gotten expelled. So Chris, what would you rather take? Go back to school. Let's just say with you know, the person I am now, like mentally, like I am me now, not physically, but like my brain transfers. Not necessarily. Just in general, like, would you take your school life? Or your work life, work life, <sighs> and I don't Jake, even have you don't, one. You don't. Yes, yeah, so you don't get to. You don't. Your input doesn't matter, and I only say that because you you you're in school. My input never matters to you. Sure. Well, it's hard because like in school, if I were to do that, I would take high school because middle school for me was just like the establishment of my trauma foundation. So right. I would I would ignore Traumas middle school. Aside, just the the school lifestyle, waking up, homework, tests, you know. Sports, uh, just all of those kind of things. No, outside life, not really applied. I'd probably take school just because, like, 
I, I, I would have the choice to, I would have enough variety in my day and I, I like to have that schedule, like, even though I'm not a morning person and I just, I miss that schedule. I miss that, um, getting up and going and sitting in that spot by the music room, hanging out in that little nook by the gym or whatever have you, yeah. getting my fucking milk and a bagel and being the only person that dipped the yeah. bagel in the <laughs> butter square instead of spreading it on the bagel. I got like four butter square packets and I dipped my bagel in it. Nice. I get like two. I miss doing that and I miss going down the hall with one backpack stra- strapped on my shoulder and just like, you know, emo fringe over my the eyes with Black Veil Brides and Green Day. I just, yeah. I just miss having... The, the simplicity, because it was complicated. Sure, life for me at the time was not great, but it's still the day to day life was. I had, I, I, I could, I knew in my head I could endure whatever I was dealing with, with the idea that I get to go home and forget all of this and play fucking Modern Warfare two and just do my shit, just like I don't know. But now every day I wake up, I go fuck, <laughs> yeah, fuck, fuck. Every day my still knee hurts alive. more. Uh, I think I my shit gets a little bit harder. <laughs> Everything sucks. I need to buy new tires. I need to fucking... I have to pay these bills. I'm constantly pulling my eyebrows and, like, eyebrow hairs are popping out. I don't know what that's about. Yeah. I'm just like... Um, so, yeah. So, for me, I can agree with most of what you said. Like, I miss going to school and the social environment. Even though people sucked, you still are around people. You have teachers. You have all these things. They don't. Not, you don't... Jake. Like, you're you're not always alone, necessarily. You might feel alone, but you always have the people around you. I miss the school's chicken burgers, dude. I would eat that shit every day still. Even though it was garbage, I loved it. Um, and then with everything Chris said. But on the contrary, yeah, working sucks, and you have to sit... You have to do it the rest of your life, unless, you know, you're lucky with money and shit. But you're an adult. You can do what you want. For the most part, at least, you can choose what career you want to do or at least try to do. In school, you're kind of just stuck with, you know, what they offer you in terms of education. You have money that you can do whatever you want with. Um, The responsibilities that come with being an adult and working that aren't the shit ones, for that matter. Like, I don't know. There's just a lot more to life once you're, I'll just say... 19 because you're still in school at 18 but but that's the thing though is like in your adult life you have the argument of like i have freedom i have a uh, presumably let's say i have a car i can just go somewhere and do something but when you're people like us where you don't socialize that much and you generally don't go places by yourself just to just to go there School was that, um, and, and that's what I look back on it mostly, is like school is a time where you had a variety every single day. Like in gym, you're doing something different. I loved running circles in the gym, throwing a tennis ball against the wall because it helped me forget about my cancer. I loved... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going I'm gonna keep referencing that fucking video. I'm going to keep referencing that video. I, don't, that, I, just... I was fucking <laughs> half paying attention because you were kind of rehashing it, and I just heard it made me forget about my cancer. Yeah, no, it's a tennis ball against the wall. Uh, that that video, it's so it's such a classic. I'm gonna put that in the link down. But you know, Holy it, it was shit. every fucking day could have been just something entirely new and a new experience, a new person to talk to, uh, a new mood, a new attitude. We could you know go outside and do this. New experiences, new exposures, and it was. But then every day my adult life is like, if something new is gonna happen to me, it has to be either something bad. Or I chose to go out to go out and change my scenery, but being an isolated type of person, that doesn't really happen that often. And then if I do go out and do that, I'm generally going to be doing it alone. So we talked about New World. Um, Dylan, you want to talk? You going back to work, huh? You want to talk about that, or do you want to skip over that? How's that going? Probably skip over because it's not like it's a new job or not like it's anything crazy. It's just right. like I'm getting some hours finally. All right. Well, I guess to brush like, up against it, Dylan hasn't I have been able to debt work. to catch up on, and that's about it. Yeah, Dylan hasn't been able to work because of like nightly shutdown and stuff. So he's been off of work for a while, but now he's finally back to work. So oh my there's God, that. This dog has braces. Have you guys seen anything on Apex Season 11? Nope. Yes. Nope. I keep nope, going yes, on to nope. Reddit and I see this person who's like, "Oh, here's the new uh, Wraith rework," and she goes into her phase, yeah, and then as soon as it it She's transitions the to the main menu, yeah, I keep I keep seeing that. And obviously, <laughs> it's a joke, but that's all I've seen in general of Eleven besides Ash, which I did not watch the trailer you sent me because I think you sent it today, and I was at yeah, work last I sent night. It, I don't know. I sent it when I was at work today. Um, 
I just recorded a video and I just finished rendering the video of the patch notes for season 11. So, and my biggest concern, and not necessarily concern, but my biggest um, thing to point out is the car SMG that's coming in from Titanfall. Wait, they're adding the car? Yes, yeah. but here's the thing. It's a oh. hi- it's it's a hybrid SMG that can use light and heavy ammo. So uh, if you pick up, let's say you pick up a purple heavy mag, it'll go on the gun, but if you transition to light ammo, you also have a purple light mag. As far as I'm aware, that's how it works. It can shoot them both, and you just toggle I it like don't... select fire. I don't but like that. I don't know how they're going to do it, because that means you're carrying essentially three ammo types. Unless you just double up on one, but yeah. then that's just more inventory. You have to carry twice the amount of heavy than you would normally, or light. Yeah. And, and light's already something I carry 300 rounds of. And what's going to be the difference between the heavy rounds and the light rounds? I mean, you have different travel speeds, but when it comes to the damage, is it going to be like a no-brainer, use heavy ammo, because it's basically a full-auto prowler? Or I, the, the biggest advantage I can see to that is the idea of you can loot an enemy's box, and really quickly you have two types of ammos that you can grab that will work for one gun. So it's I like be I'm in a very – that's what I'm thinking, you know. I Yeah, I think it would be okay-ish if it was to be like – I don't know if I want to see a red package weapon or just a gold only, which, yeah, you get a new gun and then you can only get in these circumstances, but if it's going to be that strong, at least it seems like it's going to be that strong, it would be pretty ridiculous if I could land on a hot spot and pick up, you know, you and I both pick up cars, and now we can just switch between ammo types and do all these crazy things, and it's just a basic weapon with no attachments. Or do you have to get the attachments to do those things? No, I would as far as I'm aware, to- it, it just basically works like a toggle switch where you yeah, just, like, like you hit that and you switch ammo types, but I don't think it just auto-switches to that type. I think you reload the magazine by switching, and then you reload it with that ammo type, I, mean, I think. Excuse me. So yeah, I don't like that. I don't know how it's going. I think it's a cool idea and concept. I just don't know how they're going to balance it because I don't know. I assume that the heavy ammo is going to have a, a slower rate of fire and then the light ammo as far as I'm aware is like pre uh later patches of the R9 like it just dumps ammo. So I don't fully know, but there's that and then uh Watson got a hitbox update made it a little bit of a bigger hitbox just a little bit. The new map that's coming in which is looking to be looking to be oh, pretty sick. Map? Yeah, it's basically a big tropical island and there's no jump towers on it. There's basically halo grav lifts that launch you, kind of like the oh, grav lifts on na- on right. a on um Zan- uh, not Zanzibar, what the fuck's that map called? God damn, I can't remember my halo remaps, but it's basically a big giant grav shooter cannon. Uh, multiple of those. There's prowlers on the map. They'll be running around as AI to fight, and also spiders. Uh, yes, I said spiders. There's big fucking spiders that'll come after you on the map. Great. And damaging AI also does work on your Evo shield as well now, which is pretty sick. Yeah, overall. And then there's obviously Ash. And Ash's abilities are pinging enemy death boxes to reveal the surviving members locations. That's her tact. That's her uh, passive. Her tactical is. Like, basically, like, an arc star that she throws, she shoots on the ground that has, like, a little circle AoE that tethers and slows and damages uh, the person who walks through it. I think it damages anyone else who steps in it, but it tethers the first person to step into it. So it, like, latches onto their asshole and drags them a little bit. All right. Anyone else want to talk? <laughs> I mean, there's not much else to cover for Apex, for that matter. Jake, why don't you Why don't you talk? It's not so I word. D- well, I... I've, I've said A words. comment. Uh, hey, yeah, that sounds cool. I'm excited <laughs> for the car. What? I have a question about this. Anything. Um. Uh, let me think. Jake, right, shut, shut up. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Both of us waiting seven seconds. <laughs> shut up, Jake. I was waiting that whole time for yeah, him to speak. I, I had my mouth pursed waiting. Oh my god. Oh hey Jake, how'd you like my shore uh my, my Sanitar task on Tarkov? <laughs> Dude, that was fucking ass. Eliminate Sanitar. The scav boss on Shoreline from more than 80 meters away. Go fuck yourself, dude. I don't know what the rewards are because I didn't want to take it. And then him, him just be like, you stupid fuck. You didn't, you <laughs> didn't do this? stupid like, yeah, fuck. Good luck, just, good luck just getting Sanitar Eight for million one rubles. to spawn on the map, right? Good luck getting him to spawn on the map. Hope to God he's not at Cottages. And hope to God that somebody else didn't kill him first. And you have to be from 80 meters away? I have to shoot a born in heaven his ass. Like, <laughs> pretty much. Jaeger. Fuck yourself. Anyways, go on. I just I just um, had to let that out, you know. 
I think um, Octane's giving a nerf in the next season. Are they killing him? That's the uh, only I, nerf. I, I, do, I fucking wish. I'm pretty sure they're they're just making his jump pad louder. There, I what know that, that they they fixed a bug of his jump pad audio. So yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's making it louder. That's not gonna matter. Like yeah, hey, they man. do just kind of rain on you. Loud. It's not even about it being pretty loud. Like it, as soon as they hit the jump pad, it, it, there's no extra warning that a plus twenty percent volume is gonna give you to counter the jump pad. It, it's a fucking yeah. ju- remove the double jump from the jump pad. Just do that. Remove octane. Remove octane. Fuck octane. Cool. It makes more noise, but you make the noise, you're flying out of there anyways. Yes, they can jump on it too, depending on how close they are, but how no, is that a nerf? <laughs> no, I'm assuming that it's the noise that, like, if they're jumping onto a team that's already fighting and they don't hear the the, the third party jump pad hitting uh, them, it'll give them a chance of, like, oh, jump pad, jump pad, get inside, move, yeah, kind of maybe, thing. But, but I don't know. I think that's a pretty weak nerf compared yeah. to what they could do. They, I mean, they've been damaging Octane's kit anyway, which I'm happy for. Like, they made his health cost more, regenerate less. Oh, uh, Watson's getting a pretty a big rework to her ultimate and stuff as well. So her ultimate, you can only place one instead of three now. It does last forever, and it has a regen shield pool of 250 hit points. Are you saying she only places one pole now? No, like... previously. No, her ultimate. Her, her... Oh, her ultimate yeah, her ultimate pylon she can now she used to be able to place three at a time that each lasted about 90 seconds unless destroyed she was able to yeah, yeah. and it fuck? and it could uh, regenerate your shields infinitely inside the range now you can only place one it has a 250 shield regeneration pool that you can see the limit of and the percentage of if you ping it and and now they've reworked the way that it um trophy systems out um throwables to where it will only shoot things out of the air that are landing on the ground or on an object within the area of effect. Which I assume that means that people on the inside of it can throw stuff out easier. Fuck, probably. Sorry, uh... Oh my god, I saw Resident Evil 4 on the Oculus Quest and it yeah, looks fucking yeah. baller. Ben has talked about it. It's $40 um, though, I'm not buying that game for the fifth time, fuck you. <laughs> $40. Yeah, but at least like... A lot of people say it's actually quite terrifying. Yeah, I've heard that it's actually it gets actually a good port and it's good. The, I saw um, the video. The video I saw of it looked fucking phenomenal, and I almost bought it on the spot. I do yeah. want to play it. I do want to play it. It's Me just too. I don't want to spend forty dollars. I typed in Resident, and the first thing was for VR. So it's uh by Critical Nobody. Oh, I know Critical Nobody. Uh, I've been nobody. He, he's, and a, he's, he's awfully critical. Chip. You know, that's somebody I, I stopped caring about entirely was Charlie. critical. I stopped caring about Charlie entirely. I just like looked at his channel one day, he posted a video, I went, I don't like you anymore. I'm done. It was it was like <laughs> it it was, the meme where um, I was about to say it's a Toy Story meme. Toy I don't want to yeah. play with you anymore. I just saw that when you know what? I just unsubscribe I'm done. I don't care. You're not funny to me anymore. You're kind of obnoxious and your fan base seems very annoying. I'm just gonna leave. I mean, yeah, I don't really watch him as often. I kinda go through like little bursts where I might kind of watch a few of his videos and stuff. I don't I don't have a problem with him, but yeah, it's 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 a lot of the same monotone jokes that he's just constantly repeating. Not the exact same joke, but just the same formula basically, and it can get a little yeah, whatever, a but, little grating because you 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 don't yeah. know what he's gonna say, but you know the cadence, the delivery, and the timing of everything he's gonna say. Yeah, just over it, pretty much. Um, I'm gonna get or asked. you know so, something about his six inch penis as always. Yeah. Which, when is uh, Ash, like, be, when is the new season coming out? Uh, I believe it's next week at the end because the next the, this season ends this coming Tuesday. Okay. So I believe it is November first. I think is is that the Tuesday? I think yeah. I'm, no, I'm that's Monday. Ash, so yeah. Instantly. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, but that means all three of us would be trying to play Ash. She's hot. She has cool abilities. Did you say Ash is hot? Yeah. Yeah, I'd fuck her. Does she have a human version you can see, or is it she J- just Dylan, in the simulacrum? Dylan, Dylan, I'd oh. fuck a robot. I don't care. I was gonna say, <laughs> I'll legit. fuck my mattress with a bag of mayonnaise. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Do Chris, you see how you fucking per- thick listen, she is? Chris, you are perpetuating the meme of how a guy will fuck anything with a hole in it. 
Yeah, but a girl will put anything in her vagina, but that's fine. But if a dude wants to stick his penis between a bologna sandwich, he's a fucking freak. <laughs> yeah, fucking punk. Like, mm, I yeah, changed my banana. OnlyFans name. My OnlyFans name, I don't even use it. I deleted everything off of it. My OnlyFans name right now is Fuck a Pumpkin. It's Halloween. Nice. So, also, like, she does have a face. Yeah, she does. See. Well, she has her consciousness of Here, who she was chat. before. I don't I don't really know much of I forget her lore. That's what we, she looks like. It we looks fucking stupid, killed her. But... We killed her in Titanfall too. She looks stupid as shit. Well, that's a, well, she that's be. that's her character from the from the trailer that we saw, and that was her before. She was with um yeah Horizon and that all that shit. She she uh, Pathfinder killed her. That's what I was trying to get nice. around to. How anyway, fitting. um, two things I've been doing a lot of lately that have been taking up my my brain time at work and my background audio at home is I've been watching fucking. Uh, Froggy Flips garage sale YouTube videos where he just goes in with a GoPro in his chest and he just buys stuff from garage sales. That that's all it is. Like he just well, and he flips things. it. He buys things and he talks about what he got, what it what he paid for it, and what it sells for online. And he just the random stuff you'll find at a garage sale. I'm like, damn, dude, I want to fucking go to a garage sale. I want to go to a garage sale with two hundred dollars in cash and just buy stuff. Fuck it. Looks yeah, like garage a lot of sales fun. are. It's kind of like going to like an etcetera shop or something, a thrift shop, like. You just a lot of yeah. it's garbage, but it's one hundred and fifty it, pop figures for a dollar each. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of it's garbage, and you kind of have to sift through it. But when you find that or one you gem, you're like, insane, "This like, is you yeah." Can make money. You find that one thing. Well, yeah, especially if you're flipping. But if yeah. you're going there to shop for yourself, you find that one thing that you're like, "This is what thrift shopping is. This is what's perfect about it." You find that really cute shirt, or as Chris said, like a you know a shit ton of pop figures for five dollars. I've never bought a shirt and thought this is cute. Well, okay, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> All right. He was not the Listen. adjective you were supposed to use there, but okay. This is 2021. Fuck a pumpkin. Who cares? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then it also made me want, like, regret not doing a yard sale this past summer, and now yeah, I am committed. To. Well, it's because I wanted to have mom and dad go through the basement and go upstairs and collect stuff for a yard. Because I'm going to put a yard sale of my stuff. That's one table. Like, <laughs> yeah. I need to get mom, dad, and everyone else in their house, and, like, Henry and everyone, and then you, if you had anything, just bring stuff over with labels on it of your item and the price you want to sell for it, and I'll sit out there all day and sell shit. Like, I love doing the yard sale in Michigan. It was a fucking blast. I sold a, I sold an elliptical bike. I don't care. I sold my Gorilla's uh, painting. Yeah, I sold my elliptical bike for, like, 80 bucks, and I sold a, a painting I did for, like, 30 something. I don't know. I sold a painting. But I've been doing that, and then while I'm at work, I have been uh, listening to the Monster of the Week podcast, which is a Supernatural podcast, and I've been watching episodes along with the podcast. So I started at, like, I started listening at season one, and then I started watching and listening at, like, I think season four. So I've been re-watching Supernatural from season four, and I'm up to halfway through season 13. And listening to the podcast alongside it. And Dylan, I wanted to let you know that the two guys that do the podcast, uh, Chris and Jeremy, which it is really annoying to be at work and to hear Jeremy say Chris's name all the time because <laughs> that's my name. And it gets it's a, it's a whole thing. There was one outtakes they had where it was just Jeremy trying to – Discord was working. So it was just Jeremy for four and a half minutes straight just going, Chris. Oh, that's, that's, Chris. that's horrible. Chris, can you hear me? And then Chris would be like, I don't know what the fuck, it's not working, I can't hear a fucking word, I can <laughs> hear him, working. but he can't, just... Chris, but they also do a podcast, I don't think it's on Spotify, I think it's Patreon exclusive, or somewhere else, but they do a podcast called Don't Give Up Skeleton, which is a Dark Souls podcast, and okay. they're like really, they reference Dark Souls constantly, and uh, they're really into, you know, all those Souls bor- Souls Born games and stuff like that, so, it's gonna refer you to that, but you don't listen to podcasts. Not really. Podcasts are boring. You're fucking boring. You're in yeah, school. No, uh, uh, mm. Not right now. Podcasts are great. I, I absolutely adore podcasts. Cause I don't it's, have you anything can't... wrong with them. Just not really my thing. Well, you can't just listen to a random... You, it, that's... I don't know. Like, also, I can understand. something important. Dylan, look at Snap. Okay, proceed. I can understand why people don't like podcasts, but those are also the people that haven't really given podcasts much of a chance. Like, there's I a podcast have. for everything and in every type of style. I have. Um, I listened to a couple um, 100 Thieves podcasts, and it was okay. I didn't mind it. Um, I was starting a Naruto one, and I think I listened to – I was, like, 
part most way through one of them but then my you know my my issues started to kind of come up so i'm like i can't listen to this right now that sounds very vague and ominous but just some mental health stuff came up so i just haven't gone back to it and it's like i don't have a problem with them i just it's i don't like to just sit there and listen to it because if i'm if i'm say playing a game I like to have a video about whatever's going on. And like, yes, I know like, you know, podcasts will have like, you know, some of them will have. It's like having a video in the background. No, it's like having a video in the background without the video. You're just, just, and that's what I mean. You have to find a good podcast. And like, usually podcasts are best utilized when at work doing a menial task or when you're doing menial tasks at home, like cleaning your room, cleaning the kitchen or doing yard work or whatever. It's just like something that you, that's just in your head. You can listen to of people that you, care to listen to like i spent i think 10 hours listening to the final fantasy 10 podcast where they were just talking about the lore from three thousand years before final fantasy 10 takes place it was like i'm i'm all about this no i just i couldn't it's just i don't know it's good like there's they're they're comedic but they're also informative and especially when you're watching like me i'm watching supernatural and listening to the podcast like i'll watch supernatural i'll watch like four episodes go to work the next day and listen to the podcast about those four episodes and listening to them talk about it you know i can align with what they're saying relive my experience and also um get more insight to what was happening in the episode and get a better appreciation for what was going on because they dive into like plot points and yada yada course, and it just yeah. you know it fleshes everything out it just it's an extra peripheral layer of that media in that form not my thing yeah maybe it's it's kind of like tea don't really have a problem with it just meh um no something i've noticed though is i i switched from blah 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 to yada yada a bit and then i've noticed that you've been saying it too and i just you can't win it's something it's always something i don't think i say yada yada that much i've heard you say it a few times i have the kendo swords next to the pc we're about to have a, a oh, friendly no, bout. the last time you fucking jabbed my ball sack and yeah these ones hurt yet. way more yeah I'm like we're gonna play right and we're gonna fucking have helmets on up. yeah i'm cupping up I'm not doing it yeah well we're gonna do two hand like parry slashes and stuff I can't. I want to do that again. Um, <clears throat> I'd, I'd so, say before it starts getting really cold and icy out, <laughs> that would be preferable. Yeah. Playing it I'm on playing ice on is it. fun, sliding around, but we were talking about Vanguard before the podcast started. What's your excitement levels on that? I literally don't care. Jake. Like I know that's very bland to say, What's and up? I'm not going into depths with it, but I just I really don't care. Cold War was fine, but it was just shitty, and it had no zombies was fun for five minutes the campaign was okay multiplayer wasn't fun but it's so incredibly easy considering i have a 1.8 something kd and i yeah it just you mean negative 1.8 nope 1.8 kd wait he's not sean over here (laughs) oh my god sean um yeah nope i just don't care as we were saying i think last night too unless the call of duty either needs to die or completely just 180, like, <laughs> not even a people, 180. They need to like fucking 720 themselves and kick themselves in the ass and do something different because it's it's so. Some horrible. people I have heard say Cold War is in their top three. I'm like you're I've fucking, heard that. you are brain dead. Yeah. You are so fucking brainwashed into thinking that this is what Call of Duty is. I feel sorry for your gene pool because it's a pretty easy game, you know. Assuming like, and I'm, I don't, I don't say this in a bad way, but if you have some form of gaming skill, not bashing anybody, but like, if you can, you know, manage your own, then you can pretty easily excel in the game. Uh, so if they're going off of like, yeah, this game's really good because they have a high KD and they do really good and they stomp, then yeah, I can see why you're gonna think that. But overall, no, <laughs> it is, it is not even. It has no fucking uh, no character it has no character yeah. it just feels like a play I, I don't like i don't know like it, it's for i i i i enjoyed modern warfare 2019 like i did as much as i hated that game i still look back on it and have fond memories of actually having fun in the game it was it was fun to play for a good amount of time the Gosh, weapons were fun the maps were pretty good. Shoot House was fun no, when it the first came out. No, the maps sucked. <laughs> no, some of the maps were good. I enjoyed some of the maps, a few of them, but there wasn't that many. That's the problem. Like, there was just such a skimping of content that that it, it just it lost so many points. But yeah. Cold War was like, <laughs> man, Cold War. That's being generous too, Chris. That reaction is being generous. Yeah, I. 
I always make it a point that if I buy a Call of Duty, I'm going to get at least Prestige 1, and I'm going to get the um, weapon-type camo for the snipers, like snipers that get diamond or gold or whatever it is for the top tier for getting all the gold in that class. Um, I could barely get diamond with the snipers and barely Prestige in that game. I just, I hated it so much. And I mean, I could barely get Diamond because the Barrett was <laughs> the, one of the worst guns I've ever used in Call of Duty history. How does a Barrett 50 cal get a hit marker to the collarbone? It was heavy, it was unwieldy, it scoped in terribly, it seemed inaccurate, and it hit, it hit like a, pl- like a, like a, um, those old, um, those old, like, a uh, plastic Honka Tonka cars that you drive around as a four year old. I mean, I had that little fucking, uh, John Deere, is that what it was? That John Deere fucking little tractor thingy, little Jeep you could drive around. I, I remember, um, real quick, let me go back to it, sorry. Um, I loved it, and then I didn't get to use it for a while, and then know what happened to it. And when we had the, the burn pile, when it was, like, at its peak, it was, like, way down at the bottom behind. And I'm like, my John Deere little motorbike thingy! I was so Dead. upset. Dead. Uh, a- oh, Sav wants to play Apex in 30 minutes. Jake, you want to join us? Cause... Right here. <laughs> Are you? Because you're not listening. I'm just, I'm listening. What did he say? Something about opening something. <laughs> well, you're about five <laughs> seconds behind, but yeah, you're you're close. He's asking if you want to go play Apex later with him and Savannah. Sure. There you go. Yeah, I don't know if I want to invite you now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, honestly, yeah, that's kind of understandable. So we are going to play contractors again at some point, right? At some yes. point soon, sure. I'd love to. It, it's not when I'm gagging balls. Well, then we're so again. yeah, what like November thirtieth? <laughs> How many days are in November? I have no idea. Thirty. Yo, thirty. It's gonna be like my birthday at some point soon. It's gonna be crazy. Twenty-one Aren't years like... of, of being alive. Yeah, and I still couldn't tell you what month has 30, 30 days or thirty-one days. I no idea. I can. Well, January. I, no, has no, Jake, right? go for it. Jake, January from 31st. going from going from January yeah. to December. Name how many days are in the month. Uh, okay, this, so this ought to be good. January, huh? Said this ought to be good. This ought to be fucking good. I don't. Okay, can I be honest with you? I. That's. I'm here for your honesty, Jake. That's what I'm here for. I don't know my dates in order. He do didn't you know do the month. The other day. The, yes, he doesn't. The other day, I don't remember the. Do you remember the context? No. We were just casual banter while playing games, I guess. And I think you asked what like, what next month was. You know, whatever it was, yeah. and I'm like, do you not know? And you're like, isn't it January or like something like that? Yeah, like, I don't fucking know. I was like, I, I, can, I, I can say I'm... the American education system. <laughs> Jake, those are the months in order. Go ahead down the line. <laughs> I can't. I can't say it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So January has 31. Okay. February has 28. March no, has 31. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah, wrong. No, February does have 28, except for a leap year. Yeah, what? Except for Leap Beer, which is 29. Yes. Oh, shit. So, okay. Dylan's over here. The- Wrong! Yeah. Idiot! <laughs> no, Stupid. I thought... No, okay, no, no, no. I thought the Leap Year was when it only had 24, but usually it had 30 or something like D- that. We did I, not I say... I wasn't 20. born on a Leap Year. Wait, Why should wait, I care? wait, wait. Did you say a Leap Year went from 24 to 30? <laughs> no! <laughs> you said 24, and then you said but I had, that it had 30 or something. Oh, Christ. Guys. Dang. So I this podcast is base fucking month- over. I thought the base month you had like 30 or whatever, but then when it was leap year, I had 28 days. I thought that's what it was. But like, again, why should I care? I'm not born so, on it. Leap year equals minus two. Minus All right. two. So, Jake, February what? has 28, so March. Yeah, March is 30 for. Uh, Don't look at the calendar on your PC. Uh, do you have a calendar on the PC? Don't click. You're cheating. You do have it. Oh, I never knew that. <clears throat> um, I think you have to it. download it. Um, no, you do what? not. You do April not. has 30 days? Yes, yes, I believe so. Dylan, May you don't know. has right, 31. I'll, I'll keep it to myself. May has 31. June has... June always fucks me up. 30? 31. Yes. Nope, 30. No, it's 30. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to pull up a cheat sheet because I'm not the one being questioned. I'm going on in uh, incognito mode so people don't think I'm stupid. Pull up the calendar on your fucking taskbar, ah, Dylan. <laughs> Jesus Christ! We were just talking about it. You click on the. <laughs> it took uh, forty minutes for this podcast to get funny because you guys are stupid. Okay. All right. June 30, has thirty. So you're on... Yeah. yeah Wait, July has thirty-one. Thirty-one. August has thirty-one. September yep. has thirty. Yes. 
Um, you have to know October. October has 31. <laughs> you better, because that's fucking Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Uh, November has 30, and December has 31. Yes. So, Jake, were you cheating there? No. The sure calendar makes no goddamn sense. Yes. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Should I put in the link dump calendar? <laughs> yes. Here, I'll pull up I'm just going to type up. It's a Google calendar. I'm just going to drop it in the link dump. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, that's Pinterest. Um, Hold on. Uh, yeah, that was a thing. So, yeah, Vanguard. Don't care at all about Vanguard. I got almost excited because of the some of the maps that are going to be on there. It has Castle and Dome from World Wait, War II. Wait, it has II. Castle? Castle is coming on, yeah. Nice. I've only seen the shipment, and then you were mentioning some earlier, but I only, I don't remember what you said. <laughs> it's it's being launched with like 16 maps, and 16 6v6 maps, which is, I mean, a lot compared to what we've been getting. Then they're also releasing that other game mode that's like a mini battle, it's like a mini tournament round-based battle royale thing. I don't remember what it's called. It looks interesting, but the same way that, you know, Gunfight was interesting for about a month and a half. Which I really enjoyed Gunfight for that month and a half. After yeah. that, I don't care. It was something new. Um, yeah, exactly. It was something new, and it was it was a really cool like tournament idea. Um, if Modern and, Warfare but, just had better balancing from the start, it would have been an easy like top. I'll say top ten Call of Duties. I mean, there's only like eighteen of them, but like I I don't know. I'd I, have to set together an actual list before I say top ten. But it would it would at least be in the top ten. But you know. Oh man! So let's see. Going down in my head, top ten Call of Duties would be Hold Modern on, Warfare I'm up Two. A list, and I'm gonna throw it in the chat. Yeah, I'll do it too. I'd say Modern Warfare Two is my favorite. I had I had the most fun and the most nostalgia in that game and the most time. Um, second, I, I it would tie for me between Black Ops One and Modern Warfare Three. Because I, I have a lot of fun memories of Black Ops 1, but MW3 felt was like it was a more refined MW2, and I had I spent like 17 days in that game. Yeah. Um, I think World at War would be in my third spot. and Oh, no, sorry. Um, Black Ops 3 would be my third spot. I got Dark Matter in that game. I played it so much. Um, then World at War, and then probably game. Modern Warfare 2019. And then everything underneath that is whatever. So that's like my top five. But that's not ultra definitive. Like MW2 stays in first place, but everything else can be kind of shifted circumstantially. I don't I haven't really played the old ones. I kind of put those in like what I'm <laughs> from. We like know. Album. So this is my list. I'll throw it in there. Um, some of the ones in D. I think I think it goes down to D. Yeah, some of the ones in D. I just don't even know what they are. Like oh, Road gosh, to Victory. I, I didn't play it. Uh, I can't. It's PS2 games. Yeah, the the third one, the Call of Duty Black Ops something. I don't know what that is. That's Black Ops Four. No. Wait, wait. No, which the, one? In D tier, the third one, the Call of Duty Black Ops, and then it's like an orange. I don't know what that is. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. So I that's, put that that's there. an alternate cover image for. I, I'm. I don't know. I don't that, know. Does that say Black Ops? It does. It says Black Ops something. But S tier is easily World at War, MW2, BO2, and Black Ops. They're just good. I liked Modern Warfare 3 a lot. Of course, it was great, but not S tier. I'm sorry, but Call of Duty 2 has a fucking place in my heart. I tried for so long to complete it on Veteran back when I was younger. Like, nowadays, I probably could. Wait, I'm was... confused. In that tier list, why is World of War an S and D? Because I don't know what that is supposed to be. Because World at War, is, it says it up there, but that's World at War than whatever the other text is. So I don't know what it is, so I'm putting it in D tier. I think, I'm okay, me. looking at it on the thing, I think it says Final Fronts. Let me look that up. Let me look that up. God. Uh, Final Fronts was the port for for a different system. Final um, Fronts was like um, it's the Wii PS2. or something. PS2, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. So that then why is that also on the list? I mean, if it's pretty much the same, whatever. Well, I'm still going to put it in D tier. Like, I'm not going to throw that up in S as well. Um, Modern Warfare, good game, but I like, it was a good game. Ghost, love Ghost. Oh, yeah, I forgot Ghost. I fucking loved Ghost. Yeah, but it's not it's not S tier. It's, it's a solid Okay, A-tier. I'm going to have to send it separately because it's not lit. Let you're, Chris, you're probably World a little upset March. with my, uh, my Black Ops 3 placement. No, I don't care. I understand why people didn't care much for Black Ops 3. I liked it a lot. I really did. People are upset about my Black Ops 2 placement. Exactly. (laughs) I liked BO3. It was a lot of fun. I wasn't the biggest fan of 
a lot of the weapons, I guess, is honestly what I would say. The characters were really cool. I liked having the different operators and all of those, and the maps were decent. Uh, the wall running was nice. The the very little boost. Like, I liked a lot of the game. Um, no campaign. That sucked. The free run was cool. Kind of like with gun... gun uh, what was the gun thing? Model I can't... Gunfight or whatever. It's cool for the first few times, but it kind of loses it. And the guns were kind of meh. Dark Matter was the coolest completion. Absolutely the coolest one we've had. Dark Matter and Black Ops 3 was fucking fantastic. Yeah. C tier, that's... I mean, I know you liked World War II. I, I liked it, but not not anything more right. than C tier. I made a quick tier list. That's my tier list. Uh, BO2 and Modern Warfare are down at C? I didn't... I came into Call of Duty on World at War, and I just didn't really... I got... I went back to COD 4, and I just... Okay, this is the game. Whatever. I went back to COD 4 after Modern Warfare 2. So... It felt I was taking steps backwards mechanically, so I didn't get that golden age enjoyment. And Black Ops 2, I never cared that much for Black Ops 2. I did not get the hype. That game was not fun to me. That's that's fair. That sucked. I think fucking big, hated Black Ops 2. I think a big thing for BO2 with me is that was the game that me and Dolan played the most when it came to Call of Duty. Like, we spent easily, like, three summers of all the time playing zombies. And oh, yeah. then me and Henry played the Black year Ops 2 as well. You know, it wasn't just summer, but, you know. The most Me and Henry played a lot of Black Ops too, so like I had yeah. somebody to play with. But I just didn't enjoy it like everybody else did. Everyone reveres it as like the best call, like the it was the highest Call of Duty has ever been. Like you're fucking dumb, dude. <laughs> you're dumb. But yeah, opinions are opinions, and I, yours is totally valid, of course. Shut the fuck up, that <laughs> PC. Yours is valid. No. What? what? Nah, just people are just like, oh, every opinion is valid. No, so, some opinions are shit. Shut up. <laughs> Not telling you to shut up, but just... Also, Dylan, what do you think of the Halloween costume thing I sent you? Oh, People... um, I looked at it briefly because, you know, podcast, but it's not bad. It was, was it just like a leather mask with the chain going through it? Jake, are you dressing up as a dominatrix? Or like the, um... Dude, what would that... literally everyone has been saying that. <laughs> Literally, I'm like, where's so your whip? Glad. Where's your fucking gag ball? It looks like it. He has like, like, think of like, I'm just like a normal gag. mask, a COVID Put mask kind of thing. Put it in the drop. Thing. Yeah, if you have the photo. I, I, don't, I don't know if Jake wants it to be there. Yeah. Hey. Was oh, it? A, oh. Is it? Wait, is it you? Like actually? Yeah. You? I can, oh. Jake, take Jake, I want to say it. it's not bad. It's nothing bad, but you look like. What would what would like the, the person that's being dominated be called specifically? Dean Winchester. Uh, no, not necessarily. <laughs> like, yeah, sure, a sub, but like, I feel like they would have a specific name for like because a dominatrix is a whole different thing than just like also like uh, BDSM. horny slut. No, like, no. An, I'm sure it has like a legitimate name for the person that's being fucking pegged and shit. So when you have Google, like, in front of you, actually, look it up. Actually, I have Discord and Audacity in front of me. Google is not tabbed in. So, I mean, I if you want to... It's tabbed in or not. It exists, it, it exists in the next 2.3 seconds. You can access it. I'm looking it up. I'm not going to. My hands are on my lap, touching my penis. Um, submissive. <laughs> that, but that's not, like, a specific term for it. I don't know. Who, who, remembers, who remembers buying Call of Duty Elite? Spending fifty dollars for the elite membership. Was it fifty? I thought it was. I remember it's $50. being fifty dollars. It's fifty dollars for for the like actual like package of you know you can customize your clan and stuff like that. Was it? I don't remember the being a price yeah. tag. Like I remember, I, yeah, I remember I don't the remember Halo that. version of it. I don't remember what it was called. There was some Halo form. Halo. Of it. Yeah, I thought Halo had a version that, uh, of something <sighs> similar that you could go to. Last night I farted so many times that my underwear got wet. That's. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that is the end of the Nihility podcast. Uh, it, no, all right, you're right. I lied. No it was last night. It was G -G yesterday no morning. I was writing, and I had, uh, I got, I don't know, I, I ate something. I, I had something for breakfast, and I farted just so many times that I felt like my underwear was damp from farts. It was That's like, what is happening? It vile. Please stop talking. I, about I, I legitimately, to make sure, changed my underwear. And it was a brand new <laughs> pair of underwear. Like, I woke up and I got changed and I farted a lot. And I went, man, you know what? I'm going to go change. <laughs> I didn't, like, shit my pants or anything. I, there was, Are I, you I, sure? I looked at it. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure, but yeah, I, I I shit my pants so hard or farted my pants so hard that I changed <laughs> to make sure it wasn't wet. It was bad, dude. I don't know what the fuck I ate before bed. <laughs> I imagine what one third of the process of making Doritos is like. So this person posted on Facebook saying Facebook is rebranding itself as Meta. I really want to delete my account with like a eye roll emoji. That's a bit dramatic.
I don't want to have a Facebook account, but I have to for the book page and stuff, well, also and for Messenger, and for everybody. Oculus, and for Oculus. and Oculus. Yeah. I mean, he, he could just create a sub account that's just like nothing. For no, him. they have a process that's like it needs to be a legitimate account. Mm -hmm. Like they need to check your account and make sure that it's a real account. No. They will ban this shit if it that's isn't. So They'll break your Oculus. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it just comes. You'll turn it flames. on. You'll turn it on. It'll just be a meat spin on a loop. <laughs> I'm not putting meat spin in the Discord, by the way. No. Please, no. What's your spin record? Stop. 1176. 11,253. I, I, I pulled up meat spin on the school computer one time and left it. Did you? <laughs> it wasn't on my account. Like, somebody was signed in next to me, and we they didn't sign out, so I went, oh, oh, oh Trevor, you motherfucker. Meat spin. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but I just pulled it up and walked away. I signed out, and it was just going. I'm like, all right. Hell yeah. They they don't they don't allow the core music video of Adidas, but they allow Meat Spin. Either I take a piss and come back, or we end this podcast. I, I ain't trying to rush it, but one of those two things has got to happen because I got to pee. No, we can Just end piss it. Your it's pants, fine. Bitch. You know, we can I've, end it. Jake, it's fine. If I had to, if I was gonna pee my pants, I would have peed it like 20, 15, 20 minutes ago because that's how long I've been sitting here holding it. Sniffs aggressive. I mean, <laughs> at any point, you could have just gotten up and peed, and we, I, and I could have just talked to Jake. I literally got up and laid down for a minute and a half. This, this is why I don't like having Jake in the podcast. The he, just, he just goes away. He just goes away. The motherfucker went and laid uh, down. He took a nap <laughs> earlier. And they're like, all right, podcast. Like, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm Jake, and I'm going to bed. Wait, hold on. Oh, no. How old am I? Oh. Wait, how old am You're I? You're turning 27. Wait, I'm turning 27? You're turning 28. You're turning 28. You're turning 28. Wait. You're turning 28. <laughs> My eyes just went fish eye lens. What's happening? <laughs> well, you were born in 93, so 7 to 2000, then you plus add the 21, you'd be turning 28. <laughs> oh, no. Chris, well, is coming races, to, Chris is coming up to 30. My, my best Chris, friend's, you're going to die soon. My best friend's 10 years younger than me. What is, his, what is my life? Oh, you're talking about Savannah. Yeah. I was like running yeah. through Seven. anybody. I was, like, what? I was yeah. like, Jake's not 10. I was well, like, we're best yeah, friends. I was like, Jake's not 10 years behind. Not you, Jake, but. PD bag. He's not ten years older. Yeah. He's younger. exactly, basically, exactly six months younger than That's me. True. And then I'm like, well, I'm not Chris's best friend, and I'm also not ten years younger, so it's definitely not me. And I was like, who else? Oh yeah. It's Sav's like, this is a fucking Savannah. baby. She's she's been to space and got moon rocks, and she's ten years younger than so me. She's like, been I can't to space. believe this. Yeah. That's crazy. I, she, I photoshopped a picture of her face inside of like an astronaut Did suit, you? and she's like, "That's a." It took me. Uh, she's like, "That's the greatest thing I've ever seen." Like, it took me three minutes. Oh, I want to put it in the chat. It's great. It's a great little photo. We were playing Apex and went, hold on. Before you go on your space journey, I want to give you a, a space profile picture for your space journey. Oh, my God. I, I've, <laughs> I'm looking at our media messages. <laughs> Ours? <laughs> Me and uh -oh. Sabs. And I forgot. Remember when I, remember when I mentioned the, um, is it gay to have a fleshlight yes. in your ass and have a dude fuck the fleshlight? Well, I did find an example. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I stumbled across an example. <laughs> oh, cre- ah! <laughs> ah! The fuck uh, I want to look at it first, though. Wait, that's oh, a dude? Wait, that's... that's a dude? I'm cool. Hey. Yeah. Yes! You don't see the giant ah! balls? God, that was loud. What the fuck? Jake, what are you this watching? Fucking... What huh? are you watching? That's I, a penis in a fucking hole! I get that, wait. but who- how the- Wait, I didn't know. Wait, you're in a I random know. game? Jake, why are you playing Scribble? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Dude, how did he do that? I remember- pussy I blisters. remember a friend years ago got upset with me because they- I think they just like randomly sent photos of their feet or something. Like, no context. And I think I was like, ew. Not to- There specifically, but because like- wh Feet, what the fuck? Yo, sick toe jam, yeah, you right? freak. Yeah, right? And I was just like, I think it was because they were like aesthetic kind of photos, so they wanted to send it to me. But I was like, ew, uh, feet. The aesthetic I don't feet. know. I don't know. But I'm like, don't Sniffs ask. Feet aggressively. Jake, you probably would. And I just had like a negative I response, would. but it wasn't to them specifically. It was just like feet. And they were like, I think um, if I remember, they have bipolar or something. So like, or BPD. I don't know. They get upset very easily about things. And then they, like, got really upset and didn't talk to me for a period of time. But that happened a, a, a lot of different situations, and I kind of got used to it. But it was like, all right, I just said feed your gross, and you just got salty at me for it. Like, I'm sorry. Like, what do you want me to be like? Oh, yeah, my God, queen, your sorry. toes are so precious. Like, Could we stop with the queen and king? If somebody calls me king, I'm judo chopping them in the neck. 
I'm not <laughs> killing this shit. Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay, it's okay so Chris, I, I, okay. I get Listen, the reason. That is so well done, though. For what it's worth, it's pretty well done for three it, minutes. It took me like it took me like we were we were dropping into PS5 on on Olympus. I'm like, hold on, I gotta finish this Photoshop. She's like, what are you talking about? And I draw. Here you go. This is you in space. Wow, you're, you're, you're not even gonna send me it. Here, no. I'll put it. I'll put it in the Discord really link. This is you in space. This is you in space. <laughs> it's the only picture I had of her that was like clean <laughs> enough to use, and I just took the first astronaut photo I found. Like, bam. Oh my God. Easy. I guess it wasn't Photoshop. It was gimped. It was gimped. All right, we can go ahead and end oh, the podcast. Cool. So, Dylan gotta, go pee his di- so Dylan can go fill his diaper and send it to true. Nin. No. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for listening to the Night Hillity podcast. There will be affiliate links, not affiliate links, but links affiliated to each person. Their, I assume their Twitch will be down below in the description of wherever you're listening to. And uh, be sure to follow. And um, I'm going to add a quick little promotion at the end of this, or probably at the beginning. There'll be a promotion somewhere. Maybe you already heard it. I don't know. Anyways, this has been, this has been us. What the fuck's happening? Uh, what? I've collapsed. The left hemisphere of my brain just fell into itself. I can't move my right That's arm. That's fair. All right, I'm ending my audio, by the way. Okay. Make sure you guys send that to me. Bye. The promotion is this, and totally unscripted and not planned for whatsoever. You need to go to the link down below and purchase my audiobook. It took me a long time. It took a lot of effort, a lot of headache, and a lot of money, and I think it's worth giving a listen to. The preview for the book is about five minutes long, and then I'll tell you everything you really need to know about what type of story it is. And then if you like that preview, then you can listen to the entire audiobook. It's about 24 hours long. Thank you. Oh, and it's as of me recording this audio, Halloween. Happy Halloween.